So it seems a day doesn't go by with PlayStation just not finding themselves in trouble. This time it seems it's the Polish regulators that are after them investigating the PlayStation Store and Steam for that matter for anti-competitive practices. An inspection has already taken place at Sony's headquarters in Poland. So this is interesting, especially on the back of them almost scamming 100, 177 you know, countries out of a game so this is going to be interesting to see how this actually evolves and what exactly it is that they are trying to find out it says here poland's office of competitive competition and consumer protection uokik has launched a preliminary investigation into digital game platforms including steam and a playstation store for anti-competitive practices the regulators revealed that an inspection has taken place at Sony headquarters in Poland in addition to two unnamed video game developers and publishers. Now if we click on that link, we come to here, video game market preliminary investigation. Could there have been restrictive practices in video game sales market from which game developers, platform providers and gamers may be losing out? The president of UOKIK has initiated preliminary investigation concerning the case in question. In addition, staff have inspected the headquarters of several businesses, one of them being Sony. The digital game distribution market is displacing traditional sales. Gamers are increasingly less likely to buy games in boxes, but are sourcing digital copies on online sales platforms. At the same time, we see that there may be restrictive practices by major players in this market. That is why I have initiated the preliminary investigation and have had three entrepreneurs inspected. We are currently reviewing the collected evidence, says the president of UKI, okay, Thomas Trotsny. So if we come back to the actual article, evidence collected will be investigated for signs of anti-competitive practices, such as prohibited agreements or abuse of a dominant position by providers of digital distribution platforms for video games. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if the whole Steam and Epic situation here actually plays out. Is the insistence of the consumers not going to any other platform actually going to hurt steam and you know with sony you can't really buy their games anywhere else their digital games only on their website and we're only through their store so will that actually be part, you know a problem because at the end of the day you, the only sales that you're allowed are the ones on the you know the playstation store platform and even then, Sony dictates what games can go on sale. So if I wanted to put my game on sale, you know, as a discount of 30%, Sony has to give me permission to do that. I don't have free reign. So I wonder if things like this are going to uh, cause a problem going forward. The UOKIK highlighted that the effect of engaging in these practices could harm consumers by excluding competing platforms. The exploitation of developers and publishers and higher prices for players and as we have seen over the years digit you know these games going digital should actually be cheaper in price they should you know they're saving on distribution they're saving on the box product they're saving on everything why is none of that saving being passed off to the consumer the consumers are paying more for less and this is silly and you know this is something that needs to be investigated not just for PlayStation, mind you, but all digital distributions. If the evidence indicates anti-competitive practices have taken place, the firms could face fines of up to 10% of their annual earnings. Managers involved could face a fine up to PLN $2 million, which is just over $500,000. The digital game distribution market is displacing traditional sales, said the UOKIK president Thomas Drutsny. I probably screwed that name up. But gamers are increasingly less likely to buy games in boxes, but are sourcing digital copies online sales platforms. At the same time, we see that there may be restrictive practices by major players in this market. And like I was saying, Sony does have this uh, policy where you as a publisher are not allowed to put your game on a marked down sale unless they give you permission to do so. And they only allow a set number of companies to do it. and you can put the request in, but it's up to them if they want to accept it. And that is a terrible, terrible practice. If I want to reduce the price for my game, I should have the right to do that on your platform. But Sony 
has basically deemed that they you do not have the right to do that because they want to try and you know extort more money from the consumer. To me, that is anti-competitive. That right there is anti-competitive. Now, whether Steam does that sort of thing or not, I don't know. And but it's interesting to see that they are going for Steam as well, despite the fact that they were refunding Helldivers to. Uh, quite flagrantly, to try and protect themselves from a bad reputation that Sony have caused them. But it's it looks like uh, that whole so Sony ordeal may have actually attracted more in you know more attention than needed. And now they've got regulator eyes on them to try and solve this problem and trying to see if there's any other way that they can actually issue fines to both Valve and PlayStation. I'm pretty sure. Valve at this point is not going to be happy with the attention Helldivers 2 brought Steam itself. And honestly, it just looks like Sony is literally in the business to getting sued, getting hacked, um, getting everything else done to, uh, you know, from a business point of view and from a security point of view, they literally can't do anything right at this point. But do you know what? It is what it is. It'll be interesting to see if there's any developments coming from this. But hey, as of right now, the Polish regulators have investigated Sony and are going to go to Steam and one other studio or uh, publisher to see what exactly they're doing. I'm curious to see who the third one is, whether it's going to be Microsoft or if it's going to be Epic or maybe even Nintendo, because you can't really do anything with Nintendo either. They're kind of like a closed off system, even more than the other two. So... Time will tell how that develops, but I'll keep you apprised as and when information becomes available. But that's the story. That's the news. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Remain legend.